From space, it seems an abstraction, a magician's trick on a darkened stage. And from this distance, one might never imagine that it is alive. It first appeared in the sea almost four billion years ago, in the form of single-celled life. In an explosion of life spanning millions of years, nature's first multicellular organisms began to multiply. And then it stopped. 440 million years ago, a great mass extinction would kill off nearly every species on the planet, leaving the vast oceans decimated and empty. Slowly, plants began to evolve, then insects, only to be wiped out in the second great mass extinction upon the Earth. The cycle repeated again and again, reptiles emerging independent of the sea, only to be killed off. Then dinosaurs struggling to life, along with the first birds, fish, and flowering plants. Their decimations, Earth's fourth and fifth great extinctions. Only a hundred thousand years ago, Homo sapiens appear. Man, from cave paintings to the Bible, to Columbus and Apollo 11, we have been a tireless force upon the Earth and off cataloging the natural world as it unfolds to us. Rising to a world population of over five billion people, all descended from that original single cell, that first spark of life. But for all our knowledge, what no one can say for certain is what or who ignited that original spark. Is there a plan, a purpose or reason to our existence? Will we pass as those before us into oblivion? Into the sixth extinction that scientists warn is already in progress? Or will the mystery be revealed through a sign, a symbol, a revelation? It began with an act of supreme violence, a big bang expanding ever outward, cosmos born of matter and gas, matter and gas, 10 billion years ago. Whose idea was this? Who had the audacity for such invention? And the reason? Were we part of that plan 10 billion years ago? Are we born only to die? To be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth before giving way to our generations? If there is a beginning, must there be an end? We burn like fires in our time, only to be extinguished, to surrender to the elements eternal reclaim, matter and gas. Will this all end one day? Life no longer passing to life. The earth left barren like the stars above, like the cosmos. Will the hand that lit the flame let it burn down, let it burn out? Could we too become extinct? Or if this fire of life living inside us is meant to go on, who decides? Who tends the flames? Can he reignite the spark even as it grows cold and weak? <laughs>